Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the Planet Coaster Museum. For anyone who is new to the series, uh, this series is about making reproductions of famous paintings inside the Planet Coaster game and also make them with the art shapes, as you will see in this video. And mostly enough, it's about uh, making real uh, paintings for the, the interiors of the game, so you can use them uh, in real interiors of restaurants and things like that, in your theme parks. And of course, as always, you will be able to download this painting from the Steam Workshop just as the last video's painting. And I hope you enjoy it. Now, let's start uh, with the, the, the painting itself. So, we're making now, you probably uh, know, uh, La Gioconda by Leonardo da Vinci, that famous Ninja Turtle. Um, but but yeah, I, of course, I'm, I was joking. And Leonardo da Vinci is one of the best, most famous painters of that history has given us. Uh, he was even a great inventor at the time. He was amazing. Uh, of course, that most of you will know it. And we are making his probably most famous painting, La Gioconda, also commonly named uh, the Mona Lisa. And yeah, this is, this is my first actual really uh, hard painting to make in this series. And as you will see, uh, most of them will get even harder in the next episodes. And this time I'm going not for a landscape, although I'm, I'm making a landscape in these moments, the, the background of the, of the La Gioconda. And I'm going for a, a, a portrait this time. This portrait is thought to be uh, from Lisa Gerardini, uh, the wife of Francesco uh, del Giocondo, that's why it's called uh, La Gioconda. And it was made in an oil on a white panel, and it's believed to have been painted between 1503 and 1506. Of course, uh, this is a painting, it's a Renaissance painting. I have to say that uh, Renaissance is my most, probably my most most uh, favorite painting era because of the great artists uh, it was Leonardo, uh, uh, Michelang Michelangelo, uh, Raphael, Santio that's probably my most favorite painter ever and I actually want to try to make one of my I think it's my most beloved painting ever it's a mural called uh, uh, School of Athens <laughs> It's going to be complicated if I if I try to make it. That's for sure. But yeah. Uh, so of, of course, uh, this painting is the painting of La Gioconda. It's on the Louvre Museum on Paris. And there's some interesting uh, facts about it. Of course, uh, there's the the mysterious smile that you don't know if she's smiling or just sad or something like that. Uh, and it's actually accentuated by this is the interesting part. It's actually accentuated by the perspective of the background. Uh, the left side has a more bird's eye view perspective, while uh, the right side has a more like um, from top perspective. It's not totally from the top, it's more bird's eye view, but it's actually a little bit more perpendicular than the, the, the left hand side. And that's that's something amazing because uh, that's something that I also love a lot of Renaissance because the the artists try to make these techniques and and with maths and things and even if I'm not really really good at maths I really like uh, I really understand the like perspective and those kind of stuff of, of stuff that's why I like a lot of uh, buildings and things like that because it plays a lot with architecture and perspective and now talking a little bit more about uh, the technique used in, in the Planet Coaster reproduction, I have to say this one uh, was a little bit uh, tricky <clears throat> because I had to, as you will know, the, 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 the pieces I used here are the semicircular art piece sink it into the, into the portrait so I can make a, a much thinner, much smaller piece of it. And I had to work here with the sizes, with the different sizes of the, of the painting. But actually making this, uh, this painting uh, helped me a lot to understand the different sizes I could 
choose with the, the semicircular shape and as you can see I just like wanted to show if you watch it from a little bit far you can see it like it looks more like the real painting but looking at it from uh, more near it looks more like a pixel art reproduction of, of, of La Gioconda and now I'm starting, as you can see, I'm starting to play with the, the thinner, thinner shapes because as you go thinner, you can make them more into the into the background so you can add more pieces in front. So this was particularly useful in this case because I could actually make uh, the Mona Lisa itself stand a little bit out from the landscape. And if you have noticed the semi-circular shape, actually it's not as straight shape when you use it like this and has a rounded edge like one has a hard edge and the other is a rounded edge and depending of the of the turnaround you give it because of the lightning of the game it gives another color even if you're using the same color and things like that you can use it that for your advantage or sometimes it gets a little bit like a disadvantage because you need to play with the with the shape and turn it around and things like that and yeah, um, I was actually thinking about leaving like this the, the portrait, uh, leaving it without the, the face and things like that, just like a, a pixel art, something that very uh, like not low quality but low fidelity uh, face that sometimes pixel art has with characters, because I actually had the problem that. Uh, the semicircular piece wasn't small enough to make uh, such fine details as the eyes uh, and the mouth and things like that and that's why I actually thought about leaving it like, like this but then you have to think that uh, one of the most important aspects of, of La Gioconda is actually her smile so I say yeah I'm going to try something different and using one of the of the new art pieces I'm going to use more uh, in this in this series, I get the cone and just sink it until it was just a, a little spot, and that makes it, makes it the smallest piece in the game. This one is actually the smallest piece of the game, not the same circular one, even if it's close. And as you can see, I make the the, the eyes and the mouth, and, and I even fixed her hair and neck because I thought it was a little too long, like a giraffe. And that's it for, for today. I hope you like uh, this episode and hope to see you next time.